So this customer came to us from Canada. His name is Delroy, and he was looking for an off-road vehicle to enjoy up in the crazy, crazy wilderness up there in Saskatchewan. Now, Delroy is one of those guys, he's an outdoorsman, he's an enthusiast, he loves off-roading, and he actually owns a company that does amphibious crafts. So it's like hovercrafts and stuff. So he's super, super familiar with the LS engine because that's what they use inside of all of their hovercrafts. And he wanted something that he could go play with in the snow, and this is definitely the vehicle for him. So there were a couple key things about the vision that really worked with what his requirements were for a vehicle. One, it has a little bit lower front end, which is really cool, and it has a hood package on there. So whenever it's snowing and all that stuff, it's not getting all over your engine. We've got a hood that just bolts on right here, nice and smooth. We've also got the removable windshield, and this is made out of solid glass as a safety glass. And if you get into one of those hairy scenarios where you have to pop the windshield off to get like around a tree or something, we designed it with these quick connects right here so you don't have to have any tools whatsoever. You just pop these two clamps, the windshield comes off, and you can go around that crazy obstacle. We have a gigantic roof rack on top of this thing. So you can have a bunch of storage up on top of here. We've got really thick plate on top with these tie downs. So you can put just endless types of gear and just all sorts of tools up there. We've got this huge 40 inch light bar to cast light out in the middle of the woods whenever he's out there doing whatever he's doing. This thing's got heated seats. It's got the doors. It's got a reverse camera on it. It's got a 26 gallon fuel cell, which are all things that are kind of unique to this vision. You can get some of those options with the ride, but like the remote movable windshield and the big roof rack, the little bit better visibility, the hood, the 26 gallon fuel cell. That's all stuff that's really good for guys who need that type of comfort, especially somebody who's coming from Canada. And of course, being in Canada, you can't have small tires. You need something with a huge contact patch to float over the top of the snow. So we went with these KMC wheels and these 4717 LTB sticky tires so that he could get a big contact patch and be able to make it through all those snow drifts. With the big tires and the crazy wilderness that he's gonna be in, rear steer was definitely a must. We use our self-centering rear steer that's manufactured right here. It uses a cable that comes over to these plungers over here. It's all complete self-centering, so you've got a joystick in the cab. You turn left, you turn right, and whenever you let off the joystick, it automatically goes back straight. It increases the maneuverability of this vehicle tenfold and makes it so that these big tires can get into really tight spots. Another couple of cool things that we did was we added the rear view camera right here. Now this is a night vision camera. So if you're in the middle of the night and you're trying to hook up a trailer or something like that, you can back right up to the ball that can plug into this receiver hitch. Really, really cool option. We also added this. Now this was a request from Delroy. We've got this really nice Anderson connector that clicks in right here so he can put a winch on here and he can back up to whatever it is that he's trying to winch out of the woods and pull it up to the back of the buggy. Rear steer camera, winch connection, the receiver hitch, this is cool. With tires this big, you definitely need some more horsepower. So we went with our 427 stroker with 650 horsepower. We went with the four tube, big tube bypasses on this rig so that the ride quality would be absolutely fantastic. We even have a winch so we can pull out all his buddies who try to follow him. Something that we've never done on a buggy before is powder coat the link bars. And this sent the build over the top. The black looks amazing coupled with the orange and the engraving straight through the link bar material is just the final touch.